there is never going to be a perfect time. It's Tasted these sauces right now. I got a skill set now. Trying to take care of my wife. She's a little bit under the weather. So. Welcome or welcome back to It's Beyond G. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. We vlog family, food, and travel TV. And if you are returning, hey G Team, I hope everybody's doing well. It is Sunday. We are starting another vlog. We just got back from the grocery store. I just needed a couple items. I'm gonna show you the items we picked up, and then we're gonna get this pot roast started. The pot roast is for dinner tomorrow. I'm working ahead of schedule. Usually I would have cooked on a Saturday for a Sunday dinner, but because it's Super Bowl, we're going to have a different kind of menu today. But Monday's dinner will have already been completed. So we're going to cook it on low and slow for about eight or nine hours. Now if we're cooking it, if you're cooking your pot roast on high, you want to do six hours slow cook. But because I'm not in a rush for this, I'm going to go for the eight, eight and a half hours on low in the crock pot. I'm going to put it in there and then leave it alone. So dinner is going to be amazing tomorrow. Today is kind of an easy day, a fun eating day. Let me show you what we picked up from the grocery store. It's some almond breeze, the original milk for them, Nutri-Grain and apple, some Activia for myself, some Gatorades. I love those half frozen multi-grain Cheerios, and then I picked up a pot roast that we're about to get together for tomorrow. That is it for this mini little haul. I love this recipe, uh, Mississippi pot roast. So delicious. in the crock pot behind me. It is 12.35, so about nine or 9.30 tonight, it'll be ready. We are cooking it on low. We just put it in there and we're gonna forget about it. That's the beauty of the crock pot. So we'll let it do its thing. We're gonna enjoy this day. I'm just feeling accomplished. I'm ready for the week. This is a short week. We have a professional development day on Friday, which we banked that day, so we're technically off. So I'm so happy about that. And then we are off on Monday the 19th. So this is a four day weekend coming up and I'm just excited, right? <laughs> I'm excited. I um, did not work out last week. I'm disappointed about that, but it's okay. A new week, resetting, I'm gonna be on top of it. I'm getting up early, I'm getting my workouts in. I'm gonna be intentional about what I put in my body. I wanna make some smoothies, maybe some salads. We're gonna do amazing this week. We're claiming that right now. We're gonna do amazing as the weather warms up. You all know it's time to pull those bikes out. It's time to be outside in these streets. Cannot wait. My baby's my riding partner, right boo? Oh yeah. She's gonna be riding with me. Doing some outdoor activities, what we love to do. So come on spring. That's when we enjoy working out and being active the most when it's warm and when we can be outdoors. We're feeling accomplished. Yay! I'm glad you enjoyed it. I can't just for rest. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready to smoke out. Hot sauce is good. Come check us out. <laughs> Get the taste buds and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> What types of hot sauce you got? Um, so right now I have a strawberry sriracha, or these strawberry sriracha, a roja, a blackberry habanero that we call after dark, and garlic as fuck. <laughs> and what you serve? 
Well, today we did pulled pork, ribs, and a smoked chili. My nanny smoked chili. Some her recipe just smoked. So everything, you know, get up here while it lasts. If not, you can hit us up on Facebook, uh, Ray Smokehouse. Hot sauce is good. You can find us both on the same on each other's page. So. Alright, thanks fellas. Thanks. thanks for trying it. Yo, I just want to let you know I tasted these sauces right here. I got a skill set now. They're good. Get you some. We ran out to meet a friend who has a local catering event at a bar nearby. He invited us to come by to get some food. This is some homemade sauce. What are we being stingy with the sauce? Hmm, that's different. That has a different color on it. Testing the rib and the pulled pork. Those are the main focus. I already prayed over my food. And now for the pulled pork. Oh, I forgot the sauce. This is freaking good. <laughs> it's so tender. It's seasoned perfectly. It doesn't even need barbecue sauce. This is a pulled pork. Cooked just right. You got your little pink on the top. Anticipating these are gonna be just as good. Let's not be stingy with sauce now. That's not that's not even half full. And this one, I'm thinking turmeric, yeah. Okay, I smell a little vinegar in here, maybe mustard. And this one smells like beer, isn't it? Beer, vinegar. Nice consistency. Kind of sweet with a spicy kick to it. This is good. Kind of reminds me of like a North Carolina barbecue sauce. Now let's try this one. The turmeric color. Honey mustard, let's see. Not bad at all. Mustard, maybe some apple cider vinegar, some sugar, some spices. They're not bad at all, but I don't need any sauce with this. <laughs> I don't have a knife, yeah. I don't need any sauce with this. Let me just for kicks and giggles, just to say I did for all my saucy people. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this without the sauce and then I'll come back and get my final redo. Trying the rib. It's very good. Woo, so about that Usher show. During the Super Bowl, it was amazing, right? Not only did he come, he brought out some of the celebrity singers that he collabed with. Alicia Key in this red and this piano. Girl, that girl was on fire. Usher and his fits. He's so smooth, y'all. Y'all see Usher, Terry, Raymond? Come on now. He gonna give you a show every time. Live everything. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed this so much. We had a whole concert in our living room. At least I remember having one. It, it could have been a solo thing, but... um. He did not come to disappoint from the choreography to the fits to the dancing to the scenery to everybody he brought out. Of course, he had to come out on stage in skates. This was so amazing in Vegas. We had Lil John. Okay. This one I got really hyped. Then Luna came out. I was loving everything but the fro. Y'all hear this? They playing SWV got a week. They playing SWV week in Kroger after 10. <laughs> hey, I'm just in here trying to take care of my wife. She's a little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna get her some meds right now, so. But yeah, this got me weak. They playing SWV week. That's crazy. <laughs> So we did get some snow. Isn't it so pretty? It's still coming down on this Friday evening. I love it. 
Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Here we are looking for a new match. So zero gravity is split up into two parts. The first is the head being elevated. When that happens, it opens up your airways, helps with things like snoring, sleep apnea, and allergies. And then the second part that you're probably feeling are the legs. Usually when they get raised kind of above the chest area, usually it takes about 20 to 30 pounds of pressure off of your spine and it puts blood flow back to the heart. It's really good for lower oh. back pain, as you mentioned before. So I'm going to have you guys like this for a while and then at some point I'm going to put you back flat. And also you probably want to uncross your legs because people do that to take the pressure off of their back. So that kind of knocks it both out. That does feel really like comfort. Yeah, and you're not locked into that with like this specific bed. You can do that with like so what do you think of purple i like the purple i love it a lot is it your favorite one so far? Uh, it's a contender. Yeah, what you think, babe? I, mean, I don't know. I, I kind of am not feeling the rubbery feeling of it. Here we are sitting in the mattress store trying to decide what mattress we want to get. It's been a long time, a long amount of years that we're not going to disclose, but it is time for a new mattress. And I think we finally decided on one. We'll see. She's over there ready to go. Hey, boo. You ready? <laughs> I want to buy one of these pillows. That pillow right here is the pillow I've been using. It's missing. It's $179. Do y'all... It just started raining hard. Do y'all hear that rain? Against my window pane. Thank you, girl. I just wanted to come on here and say that it is never too late to stop anything you are in the midst of doing and starting over if that means starting something completely new from the start if you want to be an entrepreneur if you want to quit whatever career you're in right now if you want to do social media full-time it is never too late and there is never going to be a perfect time it's like having a baby it's never a perfect time you're never going to be rich enough you're never going to be available enough you just have to do it right pretty much I've been wanting to say that to you all for the longest. I may be talking to myself, but I'm pretty sure I could be talking to one of you. It's never too late. Never too late. I was talking to one of my fellow teachers and I asked her how many years she had in the game because that's how we talk. Girl, how many years you got in the game? So she proceeds to tell me she has 23 years in the teaching game. I don't know about your state, but our state, they've upped the time. They've upped the retirement time, right? Of course, you can go out at a certain age, but it's better to wait a few more years to go out for retirement, right? She said she has 23 years in the game. Okay, I'm in year 14, but if she has 23 years, she's feeling defeated. It gets me to thinking every year around this time, February and March, is this really what I want to continue to do for years and years to come? A little boy asked me, was I 51? I can't make this up. Yeah, well. He asked me, was I 51 years old? Nothing against a 51 year old. I'm not even close to 51. Yeah, maybe I do act like I'm tired. <laughs> Let me say this again. 
it is never too late. I just sometimes have to stop in the midst of my day and just pray to God and ask for the strength and the patience to keep going to endure. What you laughing at? Between hearing am I 51 years old and these nuts after the word these. <laughs> I asked the student when reviewing side words. I'm helping with first graders who are not on track, right? I asked the student what a word was. The word was these, T-H-E-S-E. Keep in mind he's in a group, the same kid who asked, could they play in groups? So we have group A and group B, and only the team captain should be responding after the team gets together with one another to try to figure out what the sight word is. The kid is on team A. I'm looking at team A, they're getting together, working it out, sounding it out, and they're ready, right? The captain's ready to answer, but someone who wasn't the captain on the team yells out, Oh, I know what this is. What's the word, baby? These, these nuts. <laughs> these nuts. That's so heartbreaking. The same kid who asked me when I was 51 years old. At this point, baby, I can't, I can't help you right now. <laughs> Why are you back there laughing? <laughs> I cannot make these stories up. I cannot. Ask my husband how many stories he's heard over the years and half of them he wouldn't believe it. All right. I, I, I had no more words at this point. Let's just say sis is tired. Sis is ready to go in the house and unwind. And I deserved this frappe today. All right. I'm going to see y'all now. It's stop raining. Good morning, family. Happy Friday. With a few minutes to spare, I've cracked open some Activia. My tummy has not been feeling as best. My tummy is very, very upset. I'm like, what's going on? Nothing is tasting right. I've already taken a COVID test. I was sick last week, which is why we didn't get a last week's vlog, but it's okay. We're going to get one out today. We're going to dinner later. So I'm kind of eating light right now so that I may be able to consume more food, more enjoyable food later on. So get some probiotics up in here. like the yogurt it, it tastes off and this is the only yogurt i really like it could be from toothpaste but i'm gonna go ahead and eat it because i don't want to waste and some multi-grain cheerios in a bag no milk and we'll see how we feel i hope you've all been good this has been a very trying week it is February 23rd. Happy birthday to my mother-in-law if you're watching this. Hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you later for dinner, which I'm looking forward to. We're going to Longhorn. It's been a while. And maybe that good meal will stick with me. I've had the most trying week. But God, right? But God, I'll see you all shortly. And uh, everybody else at the table was pleased though. The food was really good. Mom got like a summer strawberry salmon salad. She enjoyed that a lot. At this time, it is 1.30ish or so. We are headed up to Central State University, CSU. They're having a basketball game today. The women always play first. And then the men. We're coming up a little early just so we can get some nice seats. We're headed to the game, so. I wanted to give you all some scenery, but I'm like, this ain't really, this is not that. 
It's not that. If you see one college town, you've seen them all. Where we about to park? Where we about to park? Right here. We waiting on my mama. She always signing up for smoke. Mom, where is it? pretty good they didn't win but it was still fun and the band did his thing as you all saw um we are now headed back home we got about a good hour and so it is chilly out here what's the high today 39 39 back cold we're headed to apple store so that i can see about get my watch fixed repair or possibly a new one can y'all see me the sun is sunny but hopefully we'll come out with a repaired Apple Watch. I doubt it, cause my Apple Watch is so old. I didn't know that they only last five to six years. Like that's crappy. I don't know. As much as they cost. I know. Like whoa. But that's what that's what these uh, technological companies do to you. That's what they do. Cause uh, just like with Android, you need to update your phone. Mm -hmm. And Apple, you need to update your phone. It's the same way because. Uh, their, own, their software updates only go so far to support certain things, so. Yeah. I think they hit an off button on my series. Hopefully it's a battery issue. We'll see when we get there. All right, let me get off the phone and finish talking his ear off. Ready? No! <laughs> she is cute. Yeah. Hey, Mom. I am trying to get my Apple Watch repaired, hopefully. I don't want to have to buy a new one. I cannot see paying $400 for Apple. It's had Apple. I don't even know what this means. Because usually the low battery, it has like a line through it. Mm -hmm. And this just has... I don't know. We're home. And the verdict is in on the watch. <sighs> Go ahead and... Here lies the Apple Watch. Bling, 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 bling,
It fought the good fight. It kept her exercise and walking miles until it gave up the apple sign of no more updates, no more working. Okay. It just stays on the apple sign. That's <laughs> <how> it. <laughs> the apple watch it's over yep curtains have to get a new one <laughs> we'll see about that one the representative at the store said basically this watch is so old i'm i'm putting it <laughs> what are you laughing for he basically said in layman's terms this watch is so old I wouldn't consider sending this anywhere for repair. I'm not gonna replace no battery because ain't nobody doing that here. And if I were you and I wanted a new watch, I would go and pick one up from Target or Best Buy. He didn't even offer to sell me a watch at the Apple store. <laughs> he sure didn't. At all. Apple watches only last about five to six years if you're lucky. So keep that in mind if you are buying one, at this time, I don't know if I'm gonna buy a new one, although I want one and this has been great, especially keeping track of my fitness and workouts. I don't know if I'm ready to drop that type of money. And besides, my mom has one for $40 that works just fine. So I'm considering doing that, especially if all I'm using it for is time and working out. I just don't know. I will keep you all posted. Let me know how you feel if you have an Apple Watch um, if you've invested in a new one, what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on the pricing? I saw them uh, starting off at $399, going all the way up to $1,200 for the new Series 9. I just don't know at this time. I did want to summarize the rest of this vlog because I know there was kind of a lot going on. We did end up purchasing a new mattress, so we have two more sleeps on the one we have now. We're so excited about that. The barbecue was delicious. Shout out to Ray Ray Smokehouse. Go ahead and check him out on Facebook. He's starting up his new venture. So congratulations to you. And I hope you get many, 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 many sales, growth, and blessings within that endeavor. Shout out to um, your friend who had the sauces. Likewise to you. We also went to the CSU game. It was so good, although they didn't win. It was a nice day, a nice time. The band did the thing, as you saw in the clips earlier. What else? What else did we have in this vlog? The pot roast was absolutely delicious. I am feeling much better. The Usher show was so good. Okay, and this Super Bowl. <laughs> Jay's in the back cracking up, but seriously, the Usher show was amazing. And um, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna get ready for church in the morning. I'm gonna chill out a little bit. I hope you all have enjoyed this little vlog that has been absolutely all over the place, but this is real life, right? And if you haven't subscribed yet, we're gonna invite you to do so. We would love to have you be part of the family. It's Beyond G, where we vlog family, food, and travel TV. We're definitely gonna catch you in the next one, but until then, be blessed, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.